in today's video we will use this one as a power supply here you can see we have this power adapter where in this port we can get 110 volt 60 hertz ac power supply okay and in this port we can get 5 volt dc so we will use this usb to take out the 5 volt from this adapter so first check we can get the 5 volt or not so if i connect this one here and this one here you can see in the multimeter the voltage is 5.073 volt right that means we can get a constant 5 volt from this supply so from now onwards we will use this one as our power supply then i don't need any extra breadboard to make a 5 volt power supply so first i will make it stable in the table okay now let's start our experiment today as we need to do the sr flip flop first let's draw the circuit diagram of a sr flip flop for the circuit diagram of a sr flip flop circuit diagram of sr flip flop So first for the SR flip flop we will make the SR latch okay we all know that the latch is looks like this one right this one okay but here what we will do we need to make the flip flop after this circuit so here we will add another NAND gate okay and we all know that this will be clock this is s and this is r right but here what we will do first we need to make the sr latch so we will not use any clock pulse but we will just short the s and r then this will be q and this will be q bar okay for this circuit what will be the truth table qn plus 1 and qn plus 1 bar okay if s equal to 0 r equal to 0 then what will happen this will be memory if s equal to 0 r equal to 1 then we can get qn equal q equal to 0 and q bar equal to 1 s1 r0 it will be this one and 1 and 1 it will be invalid state where q and q bar both is equal to 1 okay in our last video we show you how to test a 7400 ic right 7400 is a 2 input what NAND gate that means we have four NAND gate inside this 7400 IC okay and we know that the pin configuration is like this where number 1 2 and 3 where 1 and 2 is the input 3 is the output 4 and 5 is the input 6 is the output here number 7 pin will be ground and number 14 will be PCC here will be number 12 and number 13 will be input and 11 will be output 10 and 9 will be input and 8 will be output okay so this is the pin configuration of our 7400 NAND gate IC right today we will use this IC to make our SR latch okay so first let's remove all of the cables from the breadboard and first
and first we need to put the source or connect the source in the breadboard okay so we already connect the breadboard this one is a 7400 ic i already told you we need to check the u notch and from the bottom this will be number one pin number seven eight and number 14 pin right so we need to make this circuit for this one the first NAND gate we will use for the this one okay to make here we will give input s and we will get here s bar so we will use the first NAND gate to build this one okay when we will do this practical you will know that you don't need to check the ic before doing the practical i will make the circuit such a way and i will test the circuit such a way that you don't need to test the ic before doing the circuit okay for this one we need to do step by step and check the step by step input and output like we will make this one and give input zero and we will check the output is one or not okay and then we will give one and we will check the output is zero or not that means we will made this circuit and also this NAND gate is already tested so you don't need to test the NAND gate before you do the practical okay so first we need to give the power supply to this IC we all know that for this IC number 14 pin will be the VCC this one okay and number 7 will be the ground let's check we will use our multimeter to put in our number 14 pin and number 7 pin here we got 5.06 that means this is completely fine now for the first one we need to short the number one and number two pin and this number three will be our output right first to short this one i use this where and short number one and number two pin okay here you can see number one number two is shorted now the input will go to the number one pin that means Here, so you can see this is our input. Okay, so for testing each circuit, I made a LED circuit beside this circuit in the board. Okay, now we will use the output from here in the number 3 pin. You can see and it will connect to this port so now we will give the input in the number one pin so here you can see i put the input in the number one okay and then give the input zero when i give the input zero you can see the led is turned on okay that means one condition is satisfied now give the input one if I give the input 1 to this NAND gate, I get here 0. That means this NAND gate is fine and also we successfully made this part of this circuit. Okay. So, just remove this one. This will be our S terminal. Now, we need to make the second one. For the second NAND gate, here you can see we have also shorted the NAND gate input where this will be number 4 pin this will be number 5 pin and the output will be number 6 okay so first I connect the output from the number 6 terminal okay and then we need to short the number 4 and number 5 okay you can see here number 4 and number 5 is shorted by this red wire okay now we need to give the input of R in the number 4, right? So connect this where in the number 4. 
okay so this one is our r connect it to zero terminal you can see we get one that means first condition satisfied now connect this one in the vcc you can see output is zero that means this nand gate is also fine okay so this yolo is our r and this one is our s okay so that means this terminal the number six is our r bar in the circuit also you can see this is our r bar and number three is the s bar right so connect a where i use a red wire in the number three terminal right so this one is the number three terminal okay no problem so this is s the purple one yellow is r red one is the s bar and the orange one is the r bar this circuit is already verified okay now let's make the actual latch circuit that means this this one okay for this one what we need to do this will be number 9 pin this will be number 10 pin and the output will be number 8 okay and here you can see for this NAND gate the bottom one this will be number 12 and this will be number 13 okay output will be number 11 so here our s bar is the the red one is the s bar right so we need to connect s bar to number 9 as number 3 and number 9 are shorted okay so number 3 that means the red wire will go to the number 9 i number 9 pin here this terminal is the number 8 so this terminal is the number 9 okay now i need to connect the r bar to the number 12 this one is a VCC terminal that means number 14. So this one I think is the number 12. Okay. So I already give the input of S bar and R bar. Fine. Now we need to short the number 10 terminal with a number 11. Right. So here I take this wire and we need to short number 10 is this one and number 11. Okay, so this one is shorted, you can see. And we need to short number 8 with number 13. Number 8, that is the output of our circuit. Number 8 with the number 13. Okay. So, then circuit diagram is done. Now, we need to check the Q and Q bar. Okay. Here, you can see the Q is number 8 pin. So, I already have an LED circuit here. So connect this LED circuit from the number 8 pin. Okay. And then we need to connect our Q bar circuit from the number 11. Okay. So here I need to check first. This is number 14, number 13, number 12, and then this is the number 11. This is number 11, right? Let's cross check. Number 14, number 13, number 12, and number 11, the white one. Okay. So this one I will make another LED circuit here. So let's take a white LED. This is our white LED. And you can see in the LED, one terminal is bigger than the other. Okay. The bigger one is a positive and the smaller one is a negative. And to limit the current, we need to connect a 1 kilo ohm resistance with this LED. Here you can see this one is a 1 kilo ohm resistance. Okay. Why it is 1 kilo ohm? You can see the color code brown black and red so connect this resistance from the q bar and then now connect the led
okay now don't think about the both are on okay don't think about that one first we need to check when s is 0 r is 1 to reset condition okay that means this is our s and the yellow one is our r right so s is 0 and r is 1 you can see when s is 0 r is 1 that means this is a reset condition and here you can see our q led the right side one is turned off q bar is turned on that is perfectly matched with our truth table fine now i will check the zero zero what we can get if we keep the zero zero input then we should get the memory that means the output should be the same for the zero zero what i need to do i need to connect s and r both will be connected in the ground you can see s0 r0 output is 0 and the q bar is 1 no problem now let's check the set condition for the set condition s should be 1 and r should be 0 right you can see here the s is in 1 that means vcc r is 0 right now you can see here our q output is 1 and q bar is 0 okay let's check again with the 0 0 input to check the memory condition for the memory condition we need to change the s from 1 to 0 here you can see s is 0 and r is 0 right and we get here 1 and 0 that means the previous input so the last one will be 1 and 1 if we keep the input 1 and 1 both the LEDs should be turned on as this is the invalid condition so let's check s is 1 and r is 1 so you can see here for s equal to 1 r equal to 1 we get both the leds turned on that means q equal to 1 q bar equal to 1 okay so in this video i show you how to make a sr latch by using a nand gate and for this practical you don't need to check the ic before you doing the practical and i already told you what will be the trick for this one it will save a lots of time in your practical examination if you have any question please write down in the comment box or if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share and subscribe our video so that's all for this video see you in the next one where i will show you how to convert this sr latch into a sr flip flop okay thanks for your time please do share this concept with your friends and if you like this video please press the like button it is really means a lot for me bye bye